puppy is literally coming late tonight or very early tomorrow and I cannot tell you how excited I am. I couldn't sleep the whole month which we were waiting after we agreed we are going to take Bailey home. And yeah, I was sick this week, so it's good I'm getting better now uh, because it's gonna be lots of uh, fun with him. He is four months and one week. Um, yeah, I got lots of stuff for him. I feel like we got, you know, all the stuff uh, needed. I just want to go today to the store uh, because we don't have anything on the floor and um, it's very cold so I want to buy something to keep him warm there. I have actually a few more things coming and also like this washable mat which we can place there but I want to buy something under it so it's like warmer. So yeah. That's my goal for today. I want to show you in the video like these things which I got for him and which I think are very important to have them for the beginning and some, you know, some fun stuff for him to play around. Uh, I will definitely or I want to definitely buy more, but like we can stay on the ground. But you know, you need to have and you need to count on um, expenses uh, for the beginning to have for him. So uh, here are a few things which I got for him. My breeder encouraged me to get for him this playpen, which I feel like was a really good idea. I can leave you the links uh, for the products in the description, as I don't remember right now where we got all the stuff. And yeah, then I got for him some bed, some toys, uh, something from TK Maxx, something from Temu, something from Amazon. So I can drop you the links below. Yeah, and this was pretty fun experience. Uh, I will definitely show you the video what he did with all this stuff a little bit later. I really like these bowls, which I got for him uh, from TK Maxx. Uh, the most important part for me was that they are microwave safe and they are heavy so he doesn't move them around which is good so they work very good I feel like and then uh, of course you need to have some puppy pee pads which we are using pretty good these are actually very small uh, even they are medium I cannot even imagine the small ones but we got to work with it it's okay and then uh, this is literally the lifesaver I will really recommend to get something like that uh, because if he pees or poops somewhere you know you just need to clean it and this actually uh, removes the odor and the stains uh, so yeah very good the next I got these uh, wet uh, tissues. I guess it's the best to take it to go because usually I wash his paws right in the, you know, in the bathroom. And then I got for him some spray uh, for his paws. Um, I didn't use it much yet, so I have to actually check if this is safe for puppies. And then, of course, you need some brushes. So he has double coat. So this is uh, the brush for the coat, um, outer coat. The brush is literally almost bigger as he is, <laughs> but it's it works okay. I didn't find any better brush for some normal price. This is actually interesting. Uh, this is the brush for the uh, lower coat. Uh, so yeah. The next important product is of course shampoo. Uh, so I was trying to get something uh, without chemicals, as you can see, paraben free, with some vitamins. They have very you know huge long coat, so they need very good shampoo. You need to brush their coat every day. So yeah, this is a important care. I want to also get some conditioner. Uh, I don't have that yet. So yeah. Uh, the next very tough part uh, was getting some harness because he is really small. This is XS or XXS. I'm not sure right now. Um, but anyway, it is too, <laughs> too, it is too big. He's just running all around, making me crazy. Yeah, and then um, this leash. This is actually pretty cool. It's some German brand, and you uh, can. Um, even buy these um, supplements to it so 
we bought extra also this uh, holder for the poop uh, bags which is cool i feel like you can also adjust uh, a light to it yeah and then of course i was trying to uh, get him some sweater um but yeah uh, the sweater is a little bit big he didn't like it we have here some poop bags and this is actually pretty cool this is the line and you put it in the car into the seat belt this is for training let's see if it works and uh, this is for cleaning his teeth I'm not doing that yet, um, so let's see. Then some normal brush, uh, very soft, and I would really recommend to get something like this. This is just, you know, when you are on the go. So there is a place for his food and for water, and here we have his food, which I feel like I bought literally <laughs> way too big packaging. Um, my breeder told me uh, that I should buy him this food. I was uh, searching... Um, um, for a reviews people said that this brand is actually good just in some countries in germany and um, france which we are located in germany uh, and it is because the ingredients are different so in the other countries there is more chemicals and stuff like that we also have to think about the insurance we all know vets are expensive um Unfortunately, also dogs um, are sick, so uh, the moment he gets here, we are going to look uh, for some uh, insurance to have. And yeah, I found already some uh, praxis for him, uh, which I want to take him after he comes here. Just, you know, this regular trip checkup if um, everything is okay. He had that uh, also, of course, when he left his home. But, you know, like, it's always uh, good to do it uh, for yourself. Yeah, and then I want to uh, start to train him. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, his personality should be um, calm. She said, the breeder said, he's calm, a puppy. His brother was crazy, but he likes to look and, you know, watch and cuddle. And so, yeah, let's see. But he's getting in the teenager uh, phase right now. Uh, so that's, of course, like the more craziest part. Um, it's a puppy, you know, uh, <laughs> so we will see. So I wanted to share with you my... Uh, feelings before getting our puppy and then we will catch up later. It was actually funny. I have this candle here like two years maybe and uh, the thing is I bought it uh, two years ago because I loved it. I bought it I guess also before Christmas which is great. Just perfect for now and uh, yeah I didn't see that when I bought this candle that this candle you should light up actually when you have uh, dogs and I just saved it because I guess I knew that one day we will get some dog so yeah this is my candle I found it funny because I had the candle um, still here you know I had it right there um, and now it's time to Lighten up. Um, I bought this candle actually in the TK Max and it says it actually neutralizes pet odor. Let's see, it actually smells very good. So, it really does smell like a Christmas tree. All right, guys, I'm back from the store. I wanted to get, yeah, something, some um, mat under it. Um, they didn't have anything, it was sold out. So, for now, I have here this blanket and I bought this very thick. Um, now I forgot the material that is this very warm material uh, so it's very fluffy and feels good uh, I set it up we got the pee pads I'm going to make bed with you that he is going to pee and poop here and sit uh, on the pee pads <laughs> that's how it works right yeah so actually let's see how this is going to work in practice in the real life uh, we are going to learn by doing um, that's the best and yeah so I just got the message that they should actually come tonight between 1 a.m. and 2 a.m. So I think we are not sleeping tonight. Let's see how tired is he going to be. It's going to be a shock for him also. So yeah, maybe I will just sleep here with him um, on the couch. Look at this puppy. 
He loves his donut. I can't. Bailey. Bailey. Bailey Pooh. It is the next day, um, next evening. <laughs> we had a quiet night. I didn't sleep much. And Bailey also didn't sleep much. So I'm exhausted actually. I'm sipping mm, on my coffee yet. Hi, and Bailey. Bailey is all around. Um, <laughs> he is such a good boy. Look at this baby. He was such a good boy. Uh, it was exhausting for him. So he was actually traveling uh, two days and he got here um, today actually, but at 2 a.m. So very, very late. I went uh, to sleep actually for like one hour and then he was here and then we were playing around and he was so excited. He had so much energy actually. Um, I feel like he wasn't scared much. He just wanted to explore at our apartment and play with us and yeah. Then we had uh, trouble actually falling asleep. So, you know, um, different people, different opinions, different um, dogs, different, you know, situations. <laughs> so I thought I'm going to sleep with him in the living room because I wanted um, I wanted him to stay in the living room. I didn't want to bring him uh, to our bedroom. And you know, it was stressful for him. He was crying a lot. So yeah, then it turned everything <laughs> into reality. And um, he just pooped all around, all around. <laughs> literally all around so i had to wash him twice um, at the night he was doing uh, pretty good i washed him uh, i had to dry him <laughs> then i actually decided to he was crying crying even if i was laying on the couch uh, so i tried to go to the bedroom and leave him there he was crying so much he was barking so much i know that i saw that some people says he should go just through it but i feel like it didn't felt right so i went back to him and then uh, he pooped again so i washed him again and then at 5 a.m he fell asleep i fell asleep um but i was so excited so i actually um wake up again again at six he was still sleeping so i sneaked out and i went to our bed because i couldn't sleep on the couch actually yeah I know, you love cuddles. And um, yeah, then he was actually quiet and he quietly waited for us in the morning. Um, we woke up at eight after yeah two hours or something like that. I feel like um, because we work from home, uh, so we were both here, you know, it was easier for him. He was, I feel like, um, I was surprised because he had so much energy, but I feel like it was just, you know, this excitement. He uh, was in a new place um, because then um, later afternoon when he ate, um, it was the thing. He actually didn't really eat his breakfast. Um, then for lunch, I gave him some better food, these um, wet um, gravy meat pockets. Uh, and he was literally, he was eating too, way too fast. He loved it. So he was very hungry. And after that, he uh, slept one hour and a half, two hours maybe. He was actually, he was, he loves uh, to be, to be with us, to, um, to be hauled. Uh, when he is being hauled, he is very calm and he just looks around. But when you put him on the floor, he is crazy. He's running around. He is, you have to watch out for your steps because he's literally just behind your feet. He is so quick. Um, yeah, he loves his toys. He loves his donut. That's his favorite toy, I feel like. Mm, and he is doing very good, I think. So as you can see, um, I had the crate set up totally differently. 
as it ended up um, because I literally had to wash every single thing which was there. Um, so yeah, um, we ended up just leaving there some blankets and towels uh, during the day and we are actually heading now to um, search for this puzzle mat again because it's, it's pretty cold. He has very big fluffy coat um, to keep him warm but I feel like, you know, it's still cold. It's a puppy uh, from the floor. It's, uh, we live in a very old building, so yeah. And I must say he's being uh, so good. Um, I think at least he didn't pee or poop anywhere else um, as in the crate. Um, he has sometimes problems find the door in the crate. So it was uh, sometimes just in front of it, but uh, I always saw him and he was actually looking to go inside the crate and yeah, such a good boy. So what I did when we uh, came here to our apartment for the first time um, with him, I took him right away to the his crate, his cage, um, and I um, put him on the pee pad. So, you know, I read that before and uh, I feel like that makes sense because he knew um, that this is his spot. Um, from there it started everything. Uh, so I think um, it was a pretty good idea and it worked very well. Yeah. So I bet the next days will be just better and better and we can adjust the situation and the regime more. I will definitely keep you updated with uh, another videos. I don't wanna um, make this video too, too long. So yeah, if you have any questions or if you have any tips, just comment below. And if you wanna see Bailey's life more, just subscribe, hit the thumbs up and we will see you next time. Bye bye. Little update guys. So these puppies shit literally six to eight times per day. And um, I was prepared for it, that it's going to be a lot. But, you know, when the reality hits, um, it's a lot. So I'm literally jumping from one poop to other, from one pee to other. I am literally washing the whole day his whole stuff because he is pretty good, how I said before, um, to go in his crate or, you know, at the same spot. Then he just jumps around and he jumps into it and then he you know brings it all around so that's the current situation the current realistic situation um potty training will be fun